Hello, Carmen and uh, Matt, giving you time, giving your time to us and on very, very short notice. I think it took one and a half day to finalize everything. Uh, the reason behind this uh, session and taking your time uh, is that uh, students have a lot of uh, questions which they really want to hear from you and they want to know about the life, uh, how is in uh, Karlskrona around the BTH and what's going on there? Mm -hmm. Shall I start or you start, uh, Mats? <coughs> you, you can start, Carmen, I think. Yeah, uh, the please, life uh, Just now. I interrupt a little. Uh, can you please introduce yourself as well so students uh, came to know that uh, who we are talking with? Uh -huh. Yeah, my name is Carmen Constantinescu and I'm working at the international office. We are a centralized international office, so we are working with all the institution at BTH. Uh, I have been working uh, at this office since 2015 and I'm responsible actually most with agreement with Erasmus students and from the beginning of this year the agents, the agents uh, has come to us, to our, um, our office and uh, Mats Walter, who is the international director, she's, he's responsible for the agents. Uh, agents. So it's quite new for us, this uh, task, so, but we will uh, try to make the best of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, and my name is Mats Walter. And uh, for quite sure, uh, from the 1st of January, I'm the international director at at the Blaking Institute of, Institute of Technology. Uh, and I work with uh, projects how to, to, for international students, internationalization within uh, BTH, uh, both in research and in, in, in uh, uh, education part. My, I have my background actually from mechanical engineering, where I was the head of the department for, for many years. Um, so I have quite good experience from, from the teaching situation uh, and the research uh, uh, situation at, at Baking Institute of Technology. Uh, and, and this is the first time actually that we have this sort of, of meeting with, with uh, students in, in, in Zoom. And I think this is a, is a very good uh, initiative from, from United uh, to actually set this up, to how to interact with the students before they arrive to, to our uh, university that's that's very important so i'm happy yeah. to be here and i will ask this at the same uh, my comment said to to try to answer the questions of, of the best of my ability of course and i understand that everyone is is keen to know what is the situation and, and what is our ideas for the future also so thank you for being invited tonight mm, thank you thank you very much uh, actually, every every crisis come up with solutions, and uh, somehow it is because of this COVID nineteen that uh, we find out more options to connect with the university to the students, and students can ask and interact with the university officials Correct. in their uh, own environment. Mm -hmm. So, how the yeah. coronavirus has affected the life in uh, Karls Corona? It's my, my opinion is that this has not been very uh, affected. Of course, the, the university have decided, as, as every university in Sweden, that it should be digitalized uh, education or, or distance learning uh, now uh, in the second half of, of the spring semester. Uh, otherwise, in, in, in Sweden, we are, have, have no hard lockdown. So, so you are able to, to go around in, in the city. This, the, the social distancing, of course, that's something that that we all do, uh, but it, it have not affected the daily life in, in, um, uh, in that way. As you can see, I'm sitting in my office, so I have the ability to go to the office. No students, of course, but, but the staff uh, might be here if, if uh, necessary. Mm. And you also can, can, like Carmen, work from home. And I can uh, add to that, that uh, in our region, here in Blekinge, we didn't have so ma many cases of Corona, so that's why we didn't felt so much. 
but as we said, we are affected because we cannot meet the students and the, and the campus is closed for the students. They cannot come in and maybe this is the hardest part for them and for us. Mm -hmm. Okay, now coming to the students question, it was just an overview that uh, what are the chances that a uh, university will go online for uh, autumn 2020? I leave Max to answer that. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, it's very difficult. We, we are following the, the authorities' uh, suggestions here. So, uh, and and the, the, the firm um, idea at BTH has been at least to, to the, the campus should reopen the 1st of September. But, but so, so that's, that's what our vision actually. And then, of course, we, we have taken measures in order to, to make it possible for students if this should not be. Be, uh, um, um, be done uh, how actually to, to, to have the, the courses uh, digitalized or, or in distance learning in order actually in that case to, to arrive uh, uh, for the spring semester 21. Is this, there these any, are two options. Is there, any is there any possibility that uh, if student got uh, the CN or a residence permit in middle of the semester for example in October somewhere, so they can come and join in the middle of semester. I, uh, without saying that, I for sure no, but I think that that must be the idea because the, the courses will be given in campus also, so it will be double given. The students that's here will have the courses, and the students that that have not the possibility will will uh, study at home or at their home university or, or or some other place. So so and and as you might know the. Uh, the semester in Sweden is divided into two parts. You have a study period one uh, from, from typically September to end of October, and then you have the study period two from, from the beginning of November until December, study period three and four in the spring. So I think that that, that should definitely be a possibility. If a student studied the first part uh, in, in uh, distance, uh, he or she has the ability, possibility to actually arrive for the study period too. Yeah, because recently we have received an email from the migration uh, migrations worker that if your mm -hmm. process goes online for a shorter period, mm -hmm. but you still have intention to go to the campus and continue your studies there, then you will be uh -huh. treated as a regular student. So you will not as a, okay. as a distance student. All right. So that, that's, that's important. That's important. So I, I know the migration board have to change their, their uh, rules uh, accordingly. So I know I know there is discussions how this should be met in, in a good way that students should have the possibility to get, for example, permit for, for stay and so on in order to, to mm. actually arrive during the, the spring, uh, the autumn semester. And is there any possibility to start uh, uh, any s spring session? Like now BTH is only starting in autumn. Uh, in, 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 in distance in, uh, to start the, the program. Yeah, to start programs. Uh, it's, it's follow the year. So that's, that's, that has to be dealt with on, on the program level. So that's, that's not within our ability to, to make this sort of, of judgment. And I, I think since the courses will be given during the autumn for, for students that are here, it will be, be of course, Courses can be given for our Swedish students, but in English. Uh, so, so these are courses, and to give them in that way a double, I, I think that would be difficult. But and the possibility of deferment in that case, if a student want to study, be on campus, and they have admission in autumn 2020, can they carry forward their admission to autumn 2021? Yes, we have a, we have a, on the website application for deferment actually. So they can apply after they have got the, if after they have got the admission, they can apply for the deferment. I can send to you actually a link if you want to send to the students for application for the deferment. It's very easy, it's very easy. And in the most cases they are accepted. And uh, uh, is there any second semester scholarship available in BTH or second year scholarship? 
Each year they can apply for scholarship when the, the rounds are open. So if they have come here for two years, if they didn't get from first year, they can apply next year, yes. Uh -huh. So they have, oh, from scholarship, I just remember, we have one student, we talked about him yesterday. Uh, he, he got a scholarship and uh, he has uh, a problem uh, paying tuition fee from Pakistan. And recently he got an uh, email from the bank that even if university send email to him that uh, you need to pay tuition fee, then they will release the tuition fee. So is there any possibility that he will get an email? I have sent an email to the admission, to tuition office, because I don't have the access to that database and I don't know about that, but uh, I involved already the admission. So I, yesterday I sent the email. So I hope today or tomorrow I will uh, get the answer. I will forward to you as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. And if a student- Or I, I, will, I will call them after meeting as well. I can. And if a student, uh, if for example, university goes online and student want to apply for a tuition fee refund, is it full refund or any administrative charges will be detected? Oh, can you answer on that? I, I'm, we, we will be very um, uh, understanding with refunding. So I don't think there will be any charges for, for the refund. The refund will be full, fully refunded. That's my, my belief, at least. And uh, is there any extended date to pay the tuition fee? Or what we, I, the I know that it... <coughs> And I know I, I don't know the exact, but we are open for for uh, late payment, so it's it's not a, a certain date. I think it should be the thirtieth of May, but if I'm correct informed. But this this date is not not set very hard, so it's it's possible to pay later if if uh, needed. Easiest way for each student, as much as I know today, is if they have so many questions about this, is to email the tuition fees. Uh, I can send to you the email that uh, we have here. They, they answer quite uh, fast and uh, they are the experts on that. I wish they were here today, but they could not attend, but uh, I can send to you the email. All the emails regarding the tuition fee, I can uh, mm -hmm. send to you. And does university provide any accommodation to the students? Should they have to apply any platform or any website? We don't have our own accommodation. Uh, as we don't own our accommodation, but we are in uh, contact with a lot of landlords here, and we have uh, and we have uh, a, a woman who is working close with this. Uh, landlords and help the students to find accommodation actually the last two times no one no student were without accommodation so we have solved very well this issue in the last two semesters so it's easy it's quite easier than it has been before but we don't have our own they need to apply by themselves we are not dealing at the university. University only facilitate the the contact with the landlords. Like so all we other have, universities in Sweden, I think it is not allowed uh, to any university to have uh, their accommodation. If I am not wrong, no. that's correct. So, but so we have a we have accommodation officer or how to say so. coordinator coordinator coordinator. So it, yes, <laughs> I think it's quite convenient and also very smooth to to get. Yeah, uh, accommodation when when before you arrive actually. So this this shouldn't be a, a, at least as as Carmen says it has not been for the last two semesters uh, any problem. No. Oh, that, that's great. And as uh, some of the students come with the family, is there any family accommodation also available for the students? In uh, this case, I, maybe they need to find somewhere in private. And actually, our uh, student union have a lot of contacts for with the private market here or the private market contact them and they have already a lot of 
uh, informations, where it is, and uh, yeah, it's good to to contact them as well. But we don't provide for them, and they cannot stay, for example, with the whole family in the student uh, accommodation. You know, there are the rules; they cannot stay more than one or two in one room, and then if they are more than that, they need to have another apartment. But I, I know that many students, international students, also they they have larger apartments or or yeah. actually two or three rooms. So that that shouldn't be, but it's it's not coordinated in in the same way. No. We have a students uh, from other programs. They are coming with families, actually, mm -hmm. especially those from MSLS program. Oh yeah. Many of them are coming with families, and they are living. Most of them, what I have heard, in private. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. One of the students had asked the question: uh, Is what are the chances of on campus and distance for autumn twenty twenty? Well, what is the chances for? for autumn 2020 be to be on campus i think they are asking the same question in a different way yes yes it, it is the same it's, it's very difficult my, my in my beliefs in that there will be a campus uh, uh, alternative and there will be a distance alternative and it's up to the students to to decide which one to choose actually uh, then of course it's depending on on the situation not only in sweden but also in in, in the rest of the world what abilities is it to travel or or, or so mm -hmm. uh, so, so it's it's very hard to say, but but when we we started this, when we actually decided to have uh, uh, online courses, the 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 firm idea was that it should be the two two ways actually. So we shouldn't say state that it should only be be uh, um, online or it should only be on campus. So both both ways are 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 our definitely firm ideas. And uh, well, we got an email yesterday, I think you got that email too, Mats, about uh, welcome meetings. We have always uh, welcome, welcome activities and uh, they prepare both for campus meeting and the digital. So we don't know, they prepare for both scenarios. Yeah. So they are still working for the live welcoming and with the digital because Nobody knows, so we are in As Mats, Mats, you, you better understand this, that some of the courses are impossible to take online when you have some practical work, especially when it's electronics or mechanical. So Co correct, that, that, that would be, I mean, uh, that has to be solved on, on, on course level in, 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 uh, in a way, and, and how this can be solved. Of course, there will be elaborations in, in electronics, mechanical engineering, whatever, uh, and that has to be solved. And I think it might be that, that when the students arrive in the, the spring, there might be certain days for, for actually catching up these sort of, of uh, tasks. So, so every student should be able to continue their studies with the same same uh, background as the students that have been here. Of course, there will be, be a disorder. Um, whether can... Yeah, basically when student came from a different background and uh, from uh, different geographical areas, not everyone have the same access to the internet and the same right. speed, especially in Pakistan, we have some remote areas where we don't have that high speed internet available. In big cities, yes it is. But in the countryside, uh, students might face this problem as well. So will it be comparatively a relaxed examination or it will be the same strict for everyone? Uh, that, that is too early to, to, uh, to make any ideas about the exams. What, what definitely would be that all, all the material will be recorded. So if, if there is classes given uh, online, these will be recorded and can be seen. Uh, afterwards or at, at loan convenience um, that that's that will will uh, will be um, when it comes to to exams it used to be online um, but it could also be home exams and so on but this has to be dealt dealt with and uh, is there any frame line for a time frame for deciding the classes will be either online or on campus uh, like in the lineage they have decided to give their opinion on 25th of may 
So on 25th of May, they will decide either they are going to online or they will go on campus. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, what, what was the ambition is that it should be do both. So you can, can decide and you can arrive during the autumn also. But, but uh, uh, when BTH as a university will make a decision whether we with all education should be, be online, uh, it's, it's not taken yet and it must be taken rather soon. I don't have the date for, for, for when this decision would be, be made by our vice chancellor, actually. Um, there will be Abed. quite soon in this, you know. And uh, Abed, the question you have asked, uh, you just joined uh, a bit late. Uh, Matt just has answered that question that uh, they, were, they, very well, they know it very well that there are some courses in which you require to have a practical work and you have to be on campus. So uh, they will find out uh, a way to fix it somehow because they, they are asking the same question. So I just uh, rapidly I wrap it up. That we have yeah. already answered that but, question. But yeah, but, but the ambition is, is of course that, that if you study a course online, it should be the same quality and with the same, uh, you should give the ability to, to take the continuous courses uh, during the rest of the education in the same way as the students has, has been here. So, so then it has to be, be dealt with depending on the course and where it should be during the spring semester might be that you have, have certain uh, parts of, of, of the course in order to catch up or get the same knowledge as, as the students that have been, been in place. And one of the questions is that which type of industry is more popular in Sweden? Is it auto industry, mechanical constructions or computer sciences, which have the most scope? <laughs> For sure, for Matt, it yeah. is mechanical. <laughs> I mean, we have very, very large companies, and as Sweden is a, is a rather small country, we are, we are quite famous for our industry. And, and you might say that the backbone of, of, of Swedish wealth and, and so on is within mechanical engineering, and very lot of in, in automotive uh, and, and, and this sort of industry. But then, of course, we have in the telecommunication system with Ericsson uh, and, and so on. So Software engineering, computer science as well. Computer science, so, but, but traditionally it has been within uh, mechanical engineering, so to say. But we are, are very broad, so I mean there the possibilities for a student to, to actually continue after their exam here in, in, in every other field that we are giving uh, education is, is looking good, so to say. Mm. And is there any possibility if uh, university goes online, uh, there will be a fee deduction uh, of uh, like some percentage of tuition fee? This, this have not been, been, it has been discussed, but, but uh, what is said at the moment is that there will be no fee reduction. So the fee will be the same. And, and that this is actually to, to make it clear that the courses should not be of lesser value if, if taken in, in this case. So, so uh, um, as, as, as far as I know, the course, uh, the fee will be the same. There will be no reduction. Yeah, if the quality of education remain the same, the tuition fee will also remain the same. So they are uh, directly proportional to each other. It, it, it should be, of course. It should be. Uh, and uh, again, the questions getting uh, repeated. Uh, I think instead of repeating the question, we will also uh, we are recording this session and we will put it on okay, uh, YouTube. So you can uh, you can ask and uh, you can listen those questions about what is the decision and what will be, what will happen if it's gonna be online. We have already discussed this. And uh, Ijaz, you were asking some question. Yeah, uh, my question is from all of you, like you and Matt and other lady. That in these days, in this uh, situation like COVID nineteen, everybody is worried about uh, that whether I would I will be able to go to Sweden or not, or will be able to getting my education on shore. How we can convince, or how we should talk to the student that you should get admitted first. You should get admission and later on, as per the situation and online, even if it's online classes or on campus classes, how we can convince the student? Can you give some guideline or what points we should talk to the students or we with some attractions to give to the student to get them enrolled? Uh, will you allow me to answer this question? 
yeah. because I have some updates. Uh, I will share <clears throat> with all of you after that. Uh, like we contacted uh, the Migration Board, Embassy in Pakistan. Migration Board is working as always. And Embassy has is open in Pakistan now. They have started giving the appointments to the students from 1st of June. And thirdly, uh, today, one of our staff from Pakistan has called Embassy in Pakistan. Uh, I have that audio as well. I will forward it to you. And they said that we are operating everything as normal. And what we have discussed earlier, that university is giving the both option online and on campus. Uh, there is one email from the Migration Board that if your study is not the whole as a distance, like your program, the two-year program goes online, then you are not eligible to apply for the residence permit. But if your degree program is partially online and partially on campus and you can join the classes on campus anytime, so you will be treated as a regular student. So oh. things are, I think, quite uh, obvious at the moment that Migration Board will work as always. And until now, we haven't seen any single refusal from the Migration Board on the basis of online classes. Uh, but we have seen several cases who got already got the residence permit. So if you want to add anything, Carmen or Matt? Mm, yeah, our intention is only, this is only a, a little time now at, when we have this, uh, this um, solution, but our intention is to have all the students on campus. So this is only for this, this semester is taking this decision. We have not decided for next year. I know some, some schools in, in the world have taken the decision that they will not conduct any, any classes on campus until next academic year. We didn't take thought this decision yet. We only have for this semester. And our intention is to have on, on campus, not mm. digital. Right. What do you, can you see some, say something, Matt? No, I, I, I agree. I mean, when all this with digital is, is actually to make it possible for students that want to study abroad, to start their studies yeah. in, the, in the autumn, arrive during the autumn or uh, at the latest in, in, in the beginning of January. Mm. So, I mean, it's, it's actually to make it possible for, for, for uh, young people to, to go abroad and, and fulfill their, their uh, urge for or dreams of, of an education. So, it, it's just how to solve this in the best way. I think this, this is an opportunity and hopefully it, it, it will, will be that uh, everyone can arrive the, the 1st of September, uh, but, but it doesn't look like that. So, I think that... The, the possibility to study uh, part of the semester, full full semester or part of the semester in, in digital form would, would be, be uh, good and beneficial. Yeah, Otherwise, yeah. the students have to postpone their, their, their studies to, to, to the next year. That might not be, be the best and, solution. Does BTH have some collaboration with industries that students can work there for working experience during the studies or after the studies as an internship? That, that, that is very much up to the students. We don't have any, any <laughs> collaboration, as far as I know, in, in, in the more organized uh, way when it, when it comes to internship. But, but uh, um, Carmen perhaps knows, we don't have this sort of, of um, um, let's say. No, but that. all the master theses are in collaboration oh, yeah, yeah, with the industry. So they got the opportunity already there to get in touch with the industry and many of them are continuing as far as i know i'm it's a pity that guru Dut is not here because he have a lot of knowledge about this uh, uh, when, collaboration when, when, and he is working it, a lot with this project mm -hmm. um actually from the students who who are um, students from our double degree program that we have a lot of the students got uh, jobs after after the master program oh, yeah. so so i mean with within within the courses in the program there is quite a lot of, of cooperation mm. with with the companies and definitely as carmen saying the thesis work the, that that's uh, done in the masters it's it's uh, one semester actually in the end of the education it's it's almost always connected with with uh, companies in uh, or industries uh, and very often also that the students will have 
the ability, possibility to have their first uh, job uh, within that company. And very often, also it is it is paid there, the, but it's not up, up anything up to the, the to to the university. It's it's a, a contract you might say between the student and and the company that that provide the thesis. Uh, there will be money involved actually, so they they used to pay the students uh, for for the thesis. But as I said, that's not something that we we deal with. It's it's between the student and the the provider of the thesis topic. And we are, don't know how this uh, crisis will affect the companies as well in the future. Yeah. It's very hard to predict these things, but. We still collaborate with the industries that we have here nearby, or even in Gothenburg, in Stockholm, the students are doing their uh, master thesis. I know for sure because I work with them. And 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 you might say also that there is a it's it's a great need in Sweden for for competent and good engineers mm. uh, and other other services. So I think it's the. the what's at university we have this is a task that we have to actually provide the the companies and industry in sweden with with uh, competence uh, and and uh, as such we 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 give our we develop and give our uh, education with close cooperation with the company so this would be suitable for future uh, uh, let's say. and from i don't know unite if you have heard but from 1st of january the Migration Board have decided that all the students who finish their school, their, their education, two years or three years education, they get an extra year for uh, residents to apply to search for job. Have you heard that? Yes, From yes, yeah, we heard that that uh, they will have a post-study job-seeking work visa. And does Correct. it apply for one-year degree program as well, or it is only for the two years? I think when you have when you receive a degree, it doesn't matter mm -hmm. which degree you have. You need That's to have a degree. So when you have bachelor or master, is we don't have one-year degree. Yes, we have, but we uh, have I, think it's applied, but I think it's applied for for all the degrees that you can take. And if a student so came a, to if a student came to BTH, is there any possibility to, to change their two year degree, like of software engineering or mechanical engineering, to one year degree program? No, not. Mm -hmm. the, the, there will be no exams that. as such. But they, they, of course, they will get, get a, a statement that they have fulfilled these courses. But there is is no uh, uh, title. Yeah, so no fifteen credits thesis. They they must have to have a full semester thesis. Uh, yeah, yes, I think so. They have, they have to have so so fulfill the program goals and 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 uh, um, um, so th then it has to be a thirty credit one semester. Uh, thesis work. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, is there any question if I have missed here? Because there are a lot of questions and uh, I was uh, just focusing at uh, and listening what uh, the conversation was going on. Uh, the gap and um, so there is one very technical question actually and uh, if a student up, uh, up like start studying as a distance mm -hmm. and he completed his first semester as a distance and migration mm -hmm. board gave the CN in second semester and refused his visa. Mm -hmm. What will happen with him? Someone it has, someone has make a very complex scenario actually. Yeah, yeah, it is hard to refuse him the visa when we are conducting the education on campus. And if he, they cannot refuse the visa if he, if he um, have all the courses uh, passed. So it's hard for me to to see that happen. But but if because it's happened, I mean we 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 have to have to be open to find a solution. If this should happen, yeah. that you have fulfilled in the this courses. Case, in, in this case, we can email. Uh, migration board we are doing in some cases and then we explain so 
I don't know. University will stand with the student. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. university will it's stand so with the student. So, individually, you cannot answer for the whole because the migration board is looking for each individual case. Uh, so it's very you, is, there, is there any possibility for second semester tuition fee to pay in installments? Uh, to to pay in installments in del <laughs> and uh, the del betaling and I I don't know I think that should be actually something discussed that in the semester you should pay for for each each uh, uh, study period so it should be quarter quarterly paid uh, in, in one way but I, there has been no decision but it's better to to send those uh, question to that email I will send to you after this meeting. Yeah, last year we have seen a couple of cases. They have given a justification, right justification to the university and they got uh, like two installments for the first study period and then the second study period. Correct. But for Correct. that you have to prove you are as a good student and you have passed all the credits and all the things. But I think they will, they will check it case by case. There is no hard and fast rule for it. Uh, uh. And I have not been involved actually in those... Um, meetings or i don't know no. so much about it because we are not working with this tuition fees so. uh, but i i i think it should be lifted here also definitely how could it mm. be paid instead of paying the full semester it could be paid by by uh, study period by study period that would be mm. at least i can't say that it will be like that but i th think it sounds reasonable Janibri, I'm confused on, a, on one thing, that if the study is online, when should a student apply for the visa? Because the, the question you asked uh, Karaman and Mass earlier, that if he got his visa refused for the second semester, what will be the situation? So what is the right time if the first semester is online, when should a student apply for the visa? Asked Tony Berman. But the student can uh, apply for the visa as soon as he gets our admission letter. Because if we, as we said before, he can come to Sweden and live here and maybe have only the first semester online. He can live here and have the online education from home. There are better connections here with internet and so on. And from the study period too, he can come to the classes so he can apply as soon as he can mm -hmm. libraries what? are open libraries are open you can get help from reference books and thank you mm -hmm. and the, isn't there a rule also stating that three months before your entry you can't apply you can't apply a year before actually is that correct carmen I don't know. I never heard about mm -hmm. it, but, uh, but I think there are yeah, as soon hard. as soon you apply as usual here to when the semester is open here in the mm -hmm. in September, you should. And then even if it's a delay in the in the visa application, you have time to arrive to the second period. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes we have seen the delays from the embassies and uh, we had this, uh, they always, always ask us, when is the last time for the student to come? And in the previous year, we had these three weeks roll call. And after that, they, don't, they were not allowed to come. But we will not have this in, in this autumn. We will not have this rule. They can come in the second period or during the first semester and maybe they can have no maybe they will have um, distance education from home here if i add on is it not a good idea to keep this policy for the rest of the years as well because in that way the student who don't get the residence permit in time they can come and join even uh, later on. So it even sounds better than the previous years. Yeah. I know, in, in, I know. In, 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 in one way, I, I think this is, of course, we have, have thought about it, that it might be for the future, because it will be cheaper and, and, and so on, and everything will be perhaps smoother. But, but at the moment, this is just done for, for 
covering up for for the current situation. But I think the idea in the United States it's good. It might be attractive actually to to start your studies at at uh, your home and then arrive during the autumn in, in a more calm way. And also, yeah, I think every, for the migration. Every year, every year, dozens of students get uh, rejected the residence permit because of this that uh, uh, they are late and they can't join the classes. Right, yeah. correct. And I mean, it, it will be made much smoother and easier for the migration board to, if, if they could, could spread this over the full year and not only in three months during summer. Actually, so it's, it's, it's a good idea. It's not depending on us so much. It's uh, on the teacher, and uh, they need to. We need to take this decision for the teachers to have this uh, digital education. So, until what we know today is only for this year, but it should be great if we can continue with that. So at least somehow now, this COVID nineteen is good for us that we learn many new things. I, I think. Exactly. I think so, definitely. If if the yeah. if the material now in during spring can be shown, actually that that the online material that have been developed will be used in the future courses. The teachers can put put more time to to more advanced questions than just mm -hmm. having the same class every year, same same same. They can be more agile and so on. So I think if if you develop this material in a wise way, not only for for helping up the current situation. If, if you do it in a, in a clever way, it will be, be the material will definitely be useful. And as, as you stated, it might even be that, that this could be an opportunity, say that always the study period one could be, be, be a, an option to study in, 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 uh, mm. in remote or, or in and online. We can see the effects of this uh, only next year, only in a year from now because we cannot see and predict now how it will be but if we see that it's work and maybe we can have more argument to to go for it <laughs> so it's hard to say but we will work on it mm. we'll have. so if if i summarized all the things that we have discussed is that uh, uh, bth it's not uh, on online until now but if it goes online the option to be on campus is still there and uh, students mm -hmm. can apply for the residence permit and uh, like migration yeah. board is working as they are working as always like every previous year mm -hmm. and if the student got the residence permit they can come to Karlskrona to Sweden and even then they can yeah. start, continue their studies online or on campus and if they are in uh, Karlskrona close to BGH they can use library and other things and if they change their plan and don't want to continue their study before starting the semester they can get their tuition feedback mm -hmm. so, uh, correct me if I, if I am wrong or if I have missed something as far as I it, I, I think it sounds very good and it sounds right there is uh, it's, it's the right and, and also, of course, if the students arrive here in the middle of, of say, uh, study period one or, or middle of study period two, that the teachers and, and as you stated, the f uh, facilities as library and computers and, and, uh, and so on will be. So, so the infrastructure will be, be uh, of full use by the students that are here. Okay, and at the end of the session, I have uh, one, uh, like, a question which uh, we have discussed yesterday as well that uh, there are a couple of people in Pakistan they are uh, uh, like telling students to not pay the tuition fee because uh, the universities are uh, trapping the students and they just want to get the tuition fee so they are pushing the students that don't pay the tuition fee because it's gonna be online and you are not gonna get the residence permit. And they said that we are official representative of universities uh, and especially BTH. So I want to know here, like, are you working with any other company in Pakistan else than us? Not in Pakistan. We are working with a company in Nepal who have a sub agent in Pakistan, as far as I know today but we are not having direct agreement with them it's through this uh, agent we have in nepal 
so we don't have uh, certain rights to another one, no. So these are just the rumors. So all the students who are uh, in this session, uh, please uh, take care of all the information which we have taken directly from uh, uh, Kermen and uh, Math, Math today, that uh, things are not like that. You heard from the other people that uh, university is trying to trap you or trying to get your money. It's uh, no. like, like always, and it's not a trap for you guys. So please, don't listen to someone uh, talking something bad about the universities. If you have any question, you have mics available, you can ask them that uh, I have tried to cover up all the areas and all the questions I have listened from you in last couple of weeks. So if you have any question, uh, you can just uh, unmute yourself and ask question to them uh, regarding this. No hands up. So I think they, they already got the message well that uh, mm. things are as always. And uh, thank you very much again for uh, your uh, time in a, such a short period. And uh, we will keep uh, annoying you with the questions because it's, it's a different yeah. situation. Maybe <laughs> with a lot of emails after this session when we will just uh, revise the things and have a lot of more questions. And, Thank you very thank much, Matt, and thank you very much, Kevin, for your time and thank very good very information much. to all of our students. Hope it will help to decide the future of uh, to the students to what they're gonna do in in their future. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, and thank, uh, thank uh, you we very much. It has been, been very nice. I think I think this has been a very good initiative. I think this is yeah. is the right way. Actually, we should take the the questions directly from 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 you, you and I, and and also the students that they. Because we 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 are very concerned about the situation, and we hmm. we really care about uh, uh, the students, uh, and it's our task actually to deliver good uh, uh, education here in order to to you might say fulfill the demands from from industry and, and companies, both in Sweden and abroad. So we we are very happy to have met you, and I hope that we that you we will see you in in, in Sweden in the, in the quite near future. He is in Sweden. Yeah, <laughs> I, am I know. You, you, you know, I, I know in Sweden, but but uh, <laughs> the students here that listening, yeah, they, they make a wise decision and and uh, uh, whatever. The best way for us is to for all to come here. Actually, I think so. Yeah. so thank you very much. See you, I all all the guys in Karlskrona and maybe Do. in a cricket ground as well, because <laughs> as I told you, <laughs> I, I visit Karlskrona like three, four times a year to play a match with their team. Uh, so, hope to see you guys there. And thank you very much for your time. Thank, thank you. you very thank you. much. Uh, and, uh, take bye care bye. of you. Bye. Bye. And bye.